Hello, in this tutorial I will discuss the selenium oxide as using the oxidizing agent in organic chemistry and synthetic application of the selenium dioxide. The topic in this tutorial is covered the oxidation of the allylic and benzylic compound, carbonyl compounds and dehydrogenation of the molecules and oxidation of the triple bond. Here the allylic and benzylic oxidation of the compound using the selenium oxide. Here we see the allylic position is oxidized. Here the 2 methyl group in 1 methyl group. So the this allylic position is oxidized using the selenium oxide. It is also allylic position is here the oxidized by the selenium oxide. The most of the time the carbonyl compound aldehyde or ketone are produced but we can stop reaction at the alcohol level using the solvent and different condition. The tri-shributyl hydroperoxide is used for the stopping the reaction at the alcohol level. So these are the example of the allylic oxidation. Here are the some rules for the allylic oxidation. When we try substituted alkene like this, 1, 2, 3, this is a tri substituted alkene, gem dimethyl, so here is the dimethyl group is present in the alkene, the E allylic alcohol is produced due to the pseudo equatorial conformation is attained in this reactions, so the E allylic alcohol is produced in this case. Generally, CH2 oxidizes more easily than CH3 and CH but not always the, it does not rule hold the always the any alkene or any condition but these are the generals not always follow these rules it can vary with the alkenes and reagent conditions also so ch2 is the most oxidizable group here the example see the ch3 chd here the ch2 is produced alcohol group so these are the example of the ease of the oxidations here the generate the next rule is the tri substituted alkene oxidase and more substituted end of the double bond here the more substituted end is this one because methyl and this group is leads to the more substituted group of the this double bond here the hydrogen is present so this is the most substituted end of the alkene. So here the oxidation is occurred. The CH2 is the oxidation more easily than CH3. Here is the rule. So most substituted end of the, this. Here the hydrogen. So this is less substituted. This is more substituted methyl and this group. And this group lead to CH2 oxidized. Which is second rule. So leads to the selective products formation. Not oxidation is not performed and less oxidation done at more substituted and CH2 rather than the CH3. Sometimes allylic migration can occur. You expecting the here the OH groups but the I, uh, double bond is migrated here the OH position is here. So this is the selectivity of the allylic and benzylic oxidation. Here is the mechanism. First step in formation of selenium acids. The formation of the selenic acids produce attaining the hydrogen and double bond here and migrate this double bond to the selenium produce the selenic ester or oh, sorry acid. Next the one two three sigma trophic e arrangement is occur here to gaining the again same double bond position which is here the substrate. So here gaining the same double bond positions and this selenium intermediate break in next step to produce the alcohol. The oxidations further continue to give the aldehyde or ketone under unless you can control the reactions using the solvent or under condition. If you want the alcohol group you must control the reactions. Next is the carbonyl compound. The methyl and methylene group adjacent to the CO group give the 1 to die carbonyl compound. Here the methyl group adjacent to the CO give the aldehyde this is methylene group to CO give the ketone group, diketone group. Here the two 
diketone is also present methylene is present here give the triketo groups so these are the example of the carbonyl compound this is in particular name reaction known as the Rayleigh oxidations so next is the dehydrogenation the dehydrogenation can be done by selenium oxide in many dicarbonyl compounds simple diphenyls or acid or ester or you can say alcohol group the selenium oxide is producing the double bond here alkene group here this is a dimerization of the acid this is the elimination of the dihydrogen from the ester groups and this is the benzyl cohort to the benzyl dehyde in natural product synthesis you also see the selenium oxide selenium ox used for the dehydrogen producing the double bond which is structure determination of the natural product molecules here the oxidation of the triple bond the oxygen can be produced the triple bond can be oxidized using the selenium oxide with diketo groups here the and you can see the terminal hydrogen gap to the acids and here the methylene form the ketone groups there is the alpha position to the aromatic ring here is the alpha position of the aromatic rings these are the alpha position of the aromatic methyl or methylene group converted into ketos or corresponding to the aldehydes so these these are the reaction of the selenium oxide reagent which is very versatile reagent for the organic chemistry please like and subscribe my channels thank you for watching